Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, back at the workbench here with a build from one of my buddies, uh, Jason, Kentucky Fried Ham, up on his printables page, link in the description below. Uh, design a knee board here, and it's been up for a while and I haven't seen a video about putting this thing together or really giving this the, uh, the attention that it deserves because this is a really nice design. Um, just going to walk through building it. Uh, mine might look a little bit different than yours, so I'll talk about that here in a little bit, the stuff you'll need. Uh, we're going to turn over to a sick 3D printing montage. Stay tuned. Thanks, everybody. Quick run through of everything that we needed. So we just saw our 3D prints getting printed and what is the end result? We got a top piece, bottom piece, and then five of these hinges. And what you're going to need, ooh, according to the instructions on printables, which is why I'm going through this quick, is three of these guys with a square on them and that'll stop the boards from, or it'll give the, the boards a backing so that they open straight. I don't see any reason why you couldn't print five, but the instructions were to print three, so I said okay, and I printed three. Need some shock cord, it's a single hole cord lock. This is a stretchy strap with some Velcro that I uh, pilfered from my ashy paddle, so I don't really have a link for that. Uh, good luck, everybody. And then you're also gonna need one, uh, one 16th inch rod for the hinges. Uh, so I cut apart a clothes hanger in hopes that it would fit, and it's just a little bit too thick. So, you know, I would have had some 14 gauge magnet wire, and I'll tell you what, boy, does this fit like it's meant to. Some of these uh, non-slip sheets, um, but then as I was uh, accumulating all this stuff, you know, I thought to myself, golly gee, wouldn't it be nice if there were a way that I could get, if I could get one of my keys that had a magnet on it, if I could get it to stick. So that sent me down a rabbit hole that led me to these little car phone mount accessories. Got them off uh, Amazon, super cheap. And what they are are little pieces of metal with some sticky on the back. And now I could have just gone and I could have peeled this stick off and stuck it there and then put this here and been happy and had so much more time on my hands, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make something purpose built. So I went, put that design into uh, Fusion 360, print a nice cubby down here that you can see also has this cute star pattern. And this drops in there like a glove. Look at that. Gonna go right into cutting some of this magnet wire to use for my hinge. And a lot of this is gonna be fast forward one, so it's a short video, and also because this is a pretty simple assembly, I think. So now how we're gonna straighten these is we're gonna sacrifice a little bit of material here on the ends. I'm gonna clamp this in here and then we're gonna cut to my Harbor Freight vise. What we're going to do is we are going to slightly stretch this so that it is nice and straight. In a vice grip, another end in a vice. We're just going to give it a little tap. Now we can see that that is nice and straight. Now this does stretch it just a little bit, so I wouldn't do this for, for magnet wire that I was going to use as magnet wire. And we're back with our nice straight pieces of magnet wire. They even have these nice little bends on them, uh, so now I can use them and push them through. So I don't think that it matters what order I put them in, but, but just for the sake of balance, I'm going to do square, not square, square, not square, square. I assume that you could also do all the squares in the middles and then the non-squares on the end or any combination there, and it would probably still work just as fine, but I'm going to do it like this. So we want to line up, oh, wrong side. So only one of these sides has the hole on it. I'm going to put it through. That came out here. Cut it flush with some flush cutters. For round two, I cut it on all four sides to kind of make it like a like a field point for an arrow. 
just to guide it right through there. Guys and gals, I wish I would have done that for the first one because that went in so much easier. Uh, so if you're doing this, I highly recommend you cut it so it's like a little, like a four-sided point that just drives it all the way through there. And cut it flush with some flush cutters. So now I'm going to stick the little rubber pad there. Hmm. It says use for and has a bunch of stuff listed, but it doesn't have the Kentucky Fried Knee Board on it. That's weird, because that's what I'm using it for. It's not actually called the Kentucky Fried Knee Board. I just made that up on the spot. The best part of peel and stick is that you peel and you stick. This is nice. That feels good. I just realized that I also didn't show how level this thing stays now. Man, this is a good design, Jason. Nicely done. No, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to the guy that designed it, Jason, Kentucky Fried Ham. This is nice, man. All right. So now for my addition to this, I have no idea how well this is going to stick. So I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to like rub it nice and good. And then I'm going to put my uh, key on there and I'm going to do some test beeps and boops and then pick it up and see if it comes up. And if it comes up, well, I'll look like a clown in front of everybody, but it's the learning process. Stick that to there. All right, it came off. Yeah, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that, guys. Final thing, shock cord. Let's see, how long do I want to make this? Oh, wow. I just realized... So the reason that I, you know, I went through the trouble of doing this is because I didn't want a, um, and I don't want to put something in here, put one of these guys in here, and then when you close it, it's now not perfectly closed. But then I was like, ah, it's going to have these elastic straps in there. It's not going to close nicely anyways. And then I just realized that Jason in his design put little grooves there so that it did close all the way. Nicely done, bud. <laughs> These strings are about uh, 10 inches. So after cutting that first one, I think I should have done it like 12 inches long. You know what, I'm just gonna do 14 inches. So I'd originally gone through the holes this way because I wanted to be able to pull it to this side because I wasn't gonna leave them there. There we go. That is a complete knee board right there. That looks good. Nice design, Jason. This is good. I don't have a radio close at hand, but I do have a talent cell. Well, I, you know, I do have radios close at hand, but they're big radios, so it's not going to fit. So how this is going to work, right? Is I've got my cage one or whatever. Wires dangling out, coax dangling out, whatever. Clip this on there. Plug it into the bottom of the radio. I'm sipping some good old H2O in a, in a Poda Park, sitting here beeping and booping. Uh, I can put it in my notepad here if, if you're one of those paper guys now. Actually, I'll, I log on my phone, so I'll probably have my phone sitting right there. This is perfect. Actually, you know what? In, if, in that case, you know, as I'm thinking out loud, I might put one on printables where you can have one on both sides so you have right-handed and wrong-handed. Because if you have like one of those cases on your phone that has a magnet, you can just stick it right here on that side. I don't know why I made a fart noise, but you can stick it on this side, your phone. You put metal thing on both sides. Put your phone on this side and then log. 
and then everything is just attached to this. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you know, drop down in the description what you think. If you want me to like move one of these around or put one here in the middle so that you can put your phone right in the middle or up high, down low. Because what this kit, you could put one right in the middle in case you want to put your key in the middle. Yeah, but I figured me sitting there, I would just sit here and do this with it right on the edge. So this is this is V1, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that should be it. Thank you for watching me build the, <laughs> what I don't know if is what it's called or not, the Kentucky Fried Knee Board, because Jason Kentucky Fried Ham came up with it, and Kentucky Fried Knee Board is pretty catchy. So let's take this stuff off, and then what you can do when you're done, hold it on up. But that's all I got. Thanks for following me along, everybody.